Welcome back guys. Thanks for tuning in and today we're going to be looking at working on this frame getting this thing oh, ready to paint, ready to undercoat do that sort of thing and uh, what we're going to be using is this here uh, crud cutter this gel so uh, stay tuned and we'll, we'll take a look at that and I'll let you know what kind of results we get I'm sporting my new t-shirt today hope you like it represent for all you military marines or not all right so let's take a look at this crud a little crud cutter stuff okay all right i got this here stuff from amazon and uh i saw a video from another user i thought i'd uh give this a shout give this a try for another shout out to him uh he compared uh oh what works and what doesn't work and um did a little side by side comparison to some different things including muriatic acid which i wouldn't recommend using i mean you could just go to a local pool store and get it i mean that'll take care of your rust and some of your metal if you don't get it off quickly but it's it's a little caustic so you want to be careful with that stuff it's uh i use it when i was working in pools and uh that stuff will that stuff will eat away the rust but you gotta use a lot of water and um and uh ppe because uh that stuff is very costly but what you get here in this crud cutter stuff you get the bottle of the crud cutter what's this 32 ounces i got two of them uh i think that i think that'll do the job for the whole frame i don't know we'll see inside and out but i like this stuff because you just spray it on it's a gel see the gel cleans the surfaces oh look at that earth friendly for all you environmental types of people that to keep everything nice and friendly earth friendly you get these little nice little wire brushes that are very good for about a minute but let's see here what to say let's not read the directions like i usually do but, uh, yeah maybe we better danger phosphoric acid causes eye burns and skin irritation may be harmful to swallow so don't be uh don't be taking shots at this stuff directions Remove any oil, grease, or dirt from the surface to be treated on heavily rusted surfaces. Remove any loose rust particles with a wire brush. Rinse the metal with water to break surface tension and wash away any loose dirt. And uh, you can leave this stuff on. What I did with this, um, I left this on overnight. We'll take a look at it. It says uh, clean time will vary according to, to the severity of rust. Medium to light rust will be dissolved in 10 to 30 minutes or less, while heavy deposits may require a second application. Now, after one or more hours, the surface is ready to be painted, and you can use it on aluminum and chrome. So, oh, <laughs> I just put my arm down on my paint. <laughs> yep. Uh oh, wearing a black arm. <laughs> all right that wasn't dark <laughs> all right so <laughs> so this is what it looks like after after uh after one day all right i squirted this down and left it on overnight this leaves uh and i prefer to leave it on overnight but it leaves this crusty white uh kind of film you know it doesn't it doesn't you know i mean it doesn't remove the rust all it does is you know oxidize it and uh you know, change the composition. I'm sure, but took my took my swirly grinder thingamajiggy here, and after letting this sit overnight, ground this down. And yeah, you know, I'm I'm sure, you know, once you get paint on it, and I'm using um, oh, this Bristolium undercoating pro grade. And so I think uh, I think once it's coated, I think it'll do all right. Now I don't know. I wouldn't, you know, unless you're going to smooth something down to, to the bare metal, make it a smooth frame, which you know I'm not going to do on this car or the truck. It's a it's not a show car. But yeah, I would. Uh, let me see a little wire brush here. What I would do, what I did do, that residue. Let's get one of these fancy wire brushes out of here. Here. 
Twinkle, 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 crunch, 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 crunch. There. What this looks like, if you leave it overnight, it leaves this uh, white powdery stuff on it. So, what I did, I just used my wire brush to spinny thing around her. And did that. And of course, took a big breath of it. That's always, that's always good for the lungs. And then, put a coat of the rust oleum on top of it. Got a little thick right there, I believe. That's all right. It's still a little gooey. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do all right. I don't see why it wouldn't. Now, here's what happens if you don't scrape this down. Flatten this out. Get the old dusty stuff off there. It's going to look like this. And I don't think I would leave it like that because... Yeah, that's gonna flake right off anyway unless you get that top coat of that that white dusty stuff off <laughs> so I think that's gonna work all right let's do a couple squirty squirts here no shaking involved you just uh, squirt it right on there let's see how it's a little gelatinous, yeah. I think I'd give myself a little paintbrush because it's gonna drip down the side like that. And you do lose some there in the drippage. And I'll rub it in here. Rub a dub dub. Caustic, uh, who cares about being caustic? I might take my fingerprints off. Who needs fingerprints? Maybe the FBI, but. They already got my blood. <laughs> uh, just kidding about that. Maybe not. Anyway, <laughs> clean my hand. Get me a little paintbrush. I might have to just uh, make me a little uh, little container and dip it in and start coating it. So, all right, stay tuned. I'll uh, keep working on this and a uh, little spray and slime and and sand and paint and and. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, I got to cut it down. I see I missed a few spots, but that's okay. I'll get in there. It's all coated. Didn't really get to the rear end like I wanted to, but uh, I'll definitely do that too. Coated it good. I'll just do a little light sanding. Kind of get it smoothed down a little bit. As you can see it kind of flakes right off. That'll be good for the fingers. And I uh, did the inside of the bumper. It's still a little wet. I just uh, just flipped it over. But it, uh, I mean, you can't see. Well, there's a little bit of rust spots of the mist on it. But a little bit there, I missed. But yeah, I can clean that up and uh, get it coated down. All right, guys, about got it. I love the smell of spray paint in the morning. Oh yeah, a little bit left right there. Oh, this one's getting empty. Yeah, I can get it down here with the rest of this. I'm sure I missed some spots, but I'll, uh, like I said, I'm not going to get under it. I'll uh, do that and do the rest of it, do the underneath when I have a lift. I'm just not going to lay in the dark grass right now. All right, so I use, this is my fourth can. Oop, sorry about the bump there. Uh, there's not much left in there. So I bought six. So uh, I'd say, I don't know, you might be hard to cover it with six. I'd say probably eight. Sure looks pretty. All right. 
right guys it's about time to wrap this thing up and uh, I want to tell you uh, give you the cost breakdown of what I use the crud cutter and the uh, rust-oleum uh, spray on uh, undercoating but let me see <laughs> so, the truck has been sitting outside it's been two weeks and it's, and it's rained and uh, this is probably gonna be the last decent day we're gonna have up here in the mountains before it really turns cold and it's just nasty and rainy and sleety and it's kind of overall yucky you know for the whole whole rest of the year but uh, let's wrap it up and take a look at it all right it's time to get this bed down and uh show you what i did here yeah, I'm making noise. i got the new hauling hooked up here this is my second attempt the first one didn't go very well i had the straps you know kind of cradling it you know underneath and it slipped so uh i thought you know it just it just wouldn't stay straight it kept kind of you know wiggling you know slipping from side to side so i decided to go this this way some other straps i found Let me get up here and uh made a little uh, i had this up in the barn and bean you know ran across the, the forks in the tractor tied it down there and tied it down here so that it didn't slip like it did the first time but i had to uh these straps just have a loop in them and uh i mean there's not really any hooking points here there's what, what fell the first time been in my truck bed that's no big deal but so i had to take a bolt and uh see my finger and slide through there and to catch catch this underneath um the bed hook we'll call it we'll call it bed hooks i don't know i know they're not really bed hooks but that's what we'll call it anyway let's look around the front here and uh one of them slipped off and it did pull the top of it out a little bit uh not a big deal got a blanket there down there between the bed and the cab yeah i kind of it came out the bolt came loose but fortunately um the hook caught the uh the inside here and i know that's what's not you know that's not what it's supposed to be used for and bend a little bit but that's okay but i i'm gonna get this bed down and uh take a look at the underneath here nice and clean and uh see if we can get this bed down Here. Go ahead, come down a little bit, Alexis. All right, go ahead, keep coming. All right, good, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, stop there for a minute. side of this brace no it's on the, the pillar that's on the wrong side of the brace so we gotta lift it up so
All right, so I used six cans of the Rust-Oleum Rust Preventer, and uh, it did the top and the size of the frame, a little bit on the leaf springs. And unfortunately, I deleted the video of the of my wrap up already, so I'm gonna redo this with the beds on. So uh, the crud cutter, I bought two of those, and uh, well, were they quart bottles? Maybe less than that. They're about seven dollars a piece. And uh, I used uh, well, not quite a full one, probably three quarters. But that stuff worked out good. I mean, this this the bed set out in the in the, in the rain for two weeks. And, uh, I don't know what's going on here. That might be a little, a little grass stain for me doing some spin spins in the <laughs> out in the pasture. But overall, I said, yeah, so that's uh, $64 I spent. And, uh, yeah, I thought it did a pretty good job. So would I do it again? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe I'd do the spray, or maybe I would do, you know, another project. I might do uh, the Eastwood uh, Rust Encapsulator and use a paintbrush, paint it off, because... Because some time ago, well say two years now I've been working on these projects and do a little work and set them aside I'm still in the garage so two years ago I used uh, the uh, Eastwood uh, premium um, rust encapsulator and I sprayed it this is three coats and it's set out for well two years now and that's what happened so yeah I'm gonna redo this I'll redo it in black anyway so uh, yeah I'll just redo the redo this with the uh, the, the uh, black uh, encapsulator and, and use a uh, paintbrush to get around vector. But what I did also use some crud cutter on were the chrome wheels. And uh, I did think I did mention earlier I was going to work on chrome, and these things were toasty. You can see some rust is coming back because uh, it hasn't been sitting outside. This is my other project. This one was rough. Hello, Allie. Allie, what are you doing? Allie, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, those got me little helpers. This wheel was uh, pretty rough as well. And you can see, um, it's, okay, Lucy, Lucy, just look at my face and the rust and the water sitting on anything. I had to do something, and maybe put some polish on these things and coat them, maybe wax. But uh, it leaves a, uh, you know, it turns it black on chrome. I mean, it roughs, you know, these are pretty rough. And I imagine a person could, uh, you know, sand these down, you know, a little bit and maybe use some of that chrome spray to uh, slick them up to make them good for, make them tens, you know, good good for about, good till about 10 foot or so. But yeah, I'd use it again. I'd have to use that again. Well, that about wraps it up for now. And I'm gonna do one more video on this truck. Uh, I'll take a look at the bed. Um, I think I'll call it my $500, my $500 F-150. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about what I did to the, what I did to the motor, and uh, did have to pull the heads off, and you know, do a couple other, few modifications to it. But uh, I don't, uh, not going to get a chance to paint it. I don't know unless I get my shop built. I uh, probably won't be painting that until, God, who knows, maybe, uh, probably January if I get my shop built in time. But uh, but there it is. So anyway, stay tuned for the next one. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all your viewers uh, very much. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, it motivates me to keep some more videos going and coming. I got projects after projects. Um, so I'll get my shop built, and uh, maybe I'll let you guys decide on which one uh, which one to do next. I mean, what the heck? It doesn't matter. So I just, I just like doing them. So all right. Thanks again. Take care. See you next time.